giving birth, giving birth, having a child, or being born himself means you have a beginning and an end. When you're born, you will also die. And when you were born, which means you didn't exist at some point. And that takes away from Godhood itself, from divinity itself. So we never attribute those things to Allah. That's very simple. But that's when we talk about Allah Azza wa Jal. But doing this kind of shirk also has a psychological disease. A, we call, you can call it a disease of the heart if you want to use spiritual terms associated with it. And I want to bring that to light. What is the disease of the heart? Not the disease of the mind, but of the heart that is associated with saying that Allah has a son. What comes with that? Look, I'll give you a worldly example. Imagine that you got a job and the boss is really strict. But the manager under the boss is your cousin. And he likes you. Okay, so the boss is strict. But the manager is a cool guy. And he's your cousin. You hang out with him and he's good with you. Okay. So when you slack off at work, what are you hoping for? If, even if you get in trouble, who's going to come in the way? Your, your cousin is going to come in and say, look, look, this guy's with me. He's okay. He's okay. Even if the boss is strict, the manager will deal with it. I don't have to deal with it. But I'm really not talking about a manager or your cousin. I'm talking about why people do shirk. One of the core psychological reasons people do shirk. They figure Allah will, will exact justice. He, will, he created me, He gave me. He, I'm going to have to answer for the things He gave me. I don't know if I want to do that. But if He has a son, or He has someone He loves, and I make sure I make them happy, I don't have to make Him happy, I just have to make them happy, then what's going to happen on the Day of Judgment? If he comes after me, who's going to come in between? No, 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 no. I got these guys. They're with me. It's okay. Let them slide. Right? That is the, that is the psychology of shirk. Now, the previous ayah said, the one who everyone should turn to is as samad What does it mean? The one who everyone turns to? The one who everyone, part of the meaning, everyone turns to? And Allah is saying, if you, can, if you only should be turning to me, there's no need for you to give me a son and a daughter. There's no need for you to put anyone in between. Why did the mushrikun put idols in between? Why? Because they will make a good case before Allah. That's what they will do. Set someone up in between you and Allah. And by the way, even the Muslims who commit shirk, who go and worship graves, and you know, make dua to people that have passed away, why do they do that? Because they have haram businesses. They know they're doing really bad stuff. So they can't fess up to Allah. So what do they do? Let's set up someone in between. I'm going to donate like 50% of my liquor store earnings to this, uh, you know, to this grave over here, or, or this whatever temple. And then this guy hopefully will make a good case with me, for me. You know, that's the psychology of shirk. So because Allah used the word as for him, there's no base left now. You can't turn to anyone other than Allah because he is as He's the absolute one to be turned to. And so, this is a logical you know, uh, continuity. This removes from the people the need to attribute such things to Allah Azza wa Jalla.